Tell me, Cobra, I got into it. I try to get them apart. Walmart today. We got this trash can. Well, um, we got us a little stove gave to us. Well, you're feeling kind of ragtag. Sleeping in a sleeping bag. Looking up at the night sky. Wondering if you are the right guy. So pack it all up in a knapsack. Get all up on a naked back But you don't gotta go far You got a neighbor with an open door Cause we're a great big family Living under a great big sky above We're gonna have a great big jubilee Where we're gonna feel a great big heart for love We're gonna have a great big sing along Where we're gonna sing a great big family song just had her taxes filed so now we're waiting on taxes to get done maybe we'll get us a little get us a little money in the bank and uh, start throwing up some more stuff for a house planning on getting our electric and water done to be the first two things uh, we're gonna try to get us an operating toilet uh, and a shower that way we can take showers and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, we're excited about that. We got to get a little far going this morning. Let the house get kind of cool, which last night wasn't nowhere near as cold as it has been. It dropped down to like 30s. Uh, Mama Bear's off with me today. And, uh, yeah. And a little confusion. I, in the last video, I said that it was insulating. We, we was foaming. Foaming some areas, that part of the insulating. So, because our regular insulation is done, 100%. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're done with that stuff and uh, moving on. Next project we're going to have to do, I've got actually two projects lined up that I need to start working on. Uh, one is jacking the floor up and getting it braced. Uh, jacking the cabin up and getting the, everything underneath braced building ladders for the kids that'll be in between us getting our taxes back and then whatever me and mom and bear can buy in between taxes that's what we're going to do uh we need to start working on a shower bottom some tin to do our showers and stuff like that um we could do aluminum tin uh siding aluminum siding uh for showers i'll have to look into it kind of like old trailer siding i think you can buy sheets of aluminum uh, and it, they say aluminum is not as corrosive as tin, you know, rusting wise. I don't think it really matters. Aluminum does rust though, or it, no, it corrodes. It corrodes, not rust. It oxidizes and wires away. So, we're going to have to, uh, get the finals on that thing. So we'll have to figure it out as we cross it, I guess, once we get to the point of making a shower. We do want some kind of metal back stuff instead of traditional fiberglass back or plastic or whatever you call it. Whatever people use nowadays, marble, uh, tile stuff, you know, we could do a tile too, but that, I think you'll run into more money to do it actually 100% right, waterproofing it and everything. Which I am planning on putting a little bit of waterproofing underneath the shower and behind the tin, so we'll see. But hopefully we get to do these projects very soon. Very soon. Um, didn't get to start on the projects this time because the budget just didn't allow for it to happen. So hopefully next time. But we are working on little bit things. Getting that done. We still got to get to that part done too. Um, let me start throwing some wild, uh, some boards up on some wilds. That way we can have a little privacy in the bathrooms. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got a lot of busy stuff heading this way. Hopefully in the next month or two, we'll get that done. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. But yeah. So my mom and bear's just going to relax today. Um, she's her day off for the for the week. And she only gets, well, you get another day off, too. And then Sunday, of course, is her 
normal day off every week, but yeah, sat down and had a good cup of coffee this morning, enjoying our heat wave that we're having outside. It's a balmy 40 degrees out. <laughs> uh, it's the first time it's been 40 in what over a week. Yeah, so hopefully the snow melts off real good today. There's some areas that still got a lot of snow. Uh, I'll see. I'll show you right here in a second. I don't know if you can see out there, but we still got a lot of snow on the ground here. Our front yard's a mess. It looks just like that. Icy. It's icy. It's a solid sheet of ice in some points. Um, not only is our rose water froze out there in the old house, but the water company itself froze, didn't it, Dor? Mm -hmm. So, I'm on burst fixed me some coffee this morning. Sitting here, been drinking me a good cup of Joe. So good this morning. She fixed it really good. So yeah, we uh, as you can see, I've been up there cutting that off. That's some of the ants foaming that I'm doing. And you see right here, this is what I was talking about. We got little cracks like that in the air uh, in the cabin that we need to seal up. Because even if we have wood, that's still going to the outside and still letting cold air in. So we got to foam it and silicone it or whatever we got to do to it. And there's a little gap right there that I missed when I was foaming it. So we'll have to catch that and get that done. But yes, if I confused in this last video, that, that's what I was doing when I meant insulating. I was not actually doing the fiberglass stuff because we, as you can see, that's done and it's been done. There's some of it that I've noticed that we kind of misdone on, so we I went back and kind of fixed it. But, like that corner back there was not done right, and it still had a big gap in it. So, we fixed that because it was letting a lot of cold air in. Uh, and then this corner back here, um, it's right there. Uh, that corner there was uh see so you can see the pink out sticking out there i had to put some more back in there because it was it was um it was letting in cold air and uh so because it just the, the cavity wouldn't feel good so you gotta make sure your cavities and cracks and gaps and stuff like that sealed up good if not then you know, you you'll let in cold air. Uh, whether you put some some kind of silicone in it to keep from it coming through, or anything like that, just like your windows, you put your stripping down, keep some cracks sealed and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's I just wanted to clear that up, just in case there was any confusion on it. But I'm gonna get off here for now, guys. My mom and dad gonna sit around, and we'll go get the kids here in a little bit. Come back home. Start our day doing something else. Our day don't start unless we got the kids on. Well, guys, remember how we went out to a night? Well, you remember how I was telling you about how we had a bottle trash can from Lowe's, supposed to be nice, pretty, whatnot, cost like 45 bucks. Well, we went to Walmart today. We got this trash can. It's a uh, Mainstays. Motion sensor, 13.2 gallon. Um, uses batteries, but it's supposed to be a motion sensor lid up here. And, uh, well, we're going to try it out and uh, see how how it does. we got to get some batteries for it and stuff like that. And we'll see if this one's any better than the old trash can we had. Uh excuse the garbage but here's the junkie one we got from Lowe's and paid over 40 bucks for and it's not even motorized so we'll see how this Walmart motorized one does and see if it's any better than that one all right guys so here it is we've got it set up we've got a garbage bag in it so we went and got four double A batteries that's what it uses the only thing you gotta do is wave your hand across it And there you go, it opens up, wait three seconds or the three bars to go away, and it closes. Simple as that. Don't even have to touch it. But if you want to close it, you can push that button, and it closes it. So, 
begin open it want to close it before it does it you just push that button and it closes it that's easy you can push it too push it to open it wave your hands across it to open it there you go it's either way you want to do it so 29 or the 2998 or I think that will work out good is a 13 gallon we're gonna see how good good it does does this and go from there will it be a better deal than the manual junk $45 one from Lowe's by Rubbermaid we'll see got us a little stove gave to us this is a natural gas stove but i'm going to convert it over to propane and um, that way we have a uh, a liquid propane stove because i ain't putting gas all through the house and i don't think we should have natural gas hooked up just for cooking because we got that for heat and then electric water heater and whatever else so uh, and eventually we're going to have to try to get us a split unit put up, but now this ain't going to be where it's going to go. We're, we're still determining in that. I think the refrigerator's going to go here and the stove will go over that way somewhere. But, uh, <clears throat> this is a, a GE <clears throat> gas stove, and I'm going to put the propane stuff to it. Shouldn't be a big deal. i get the kit for it like 20 bucks to convert it over and we'll have us a propane cooking stove and we'll get the world good world of gas and stuff like that so that'll be great stainless steel so it'll match what my mom was planning on getting on as far as going to uh, stainless steel appliances so that'll be pretty cool it's a standard 30 inch stove i think Probably actually a little wider now I'm looking at it. It almost looks 36, but I think it's just a 30, though. But yeah, it's a pretty nice looking stove. Yep. Can't beat free. It's got a couple little dings on it, but uh, nothing major. It's not been used in a while, but it's brand it was a year old. Wasn't it, Mom? A year old? It was her sister's. They got a new house. And since they got a new house, they went ahead and got new appliances in it. And, uh, she didn't need this because they went out. Didn't they go all electric? Mm -hmm. So they ain't got natural gas no more either, did they? So, that's the reason why they didn't have this. So, they went all electric. So we're going to be all electric except for this. So yeah. Well, last night we was doing our live, and Frost. We let Frost. We've been. I don't know if you know the story. Okay, we we have been letting Frost go outside and use the bathroom. Well, last night. We let him out during our live. Dar made the bad mistake of not running for uh, Colbert off the porch and getting Frost in. Well, him and Colbert got into it. I try to get them apart. Usually what I do is I take the leash, put it over Col or Frost's neck. They let go. I, I drag Frost one way, Colbert goes the other way. Well... Last night I did that. I think I made matters worse myself. You all right, Frost? Um, I drug him off, but Colbert didn't let go. Colbert kept a hold of him. And Colbert was out to kill. Well, I struggled with him five minutes trying to pull him away. I think I made matters worse. I think I got him hurt. He's not hurt bad. 
Colbert didn't let go of that leg. Did would not let go of that leg. So he's he uh, got Colbert or Frost pretty good. But he's okay. He's it's not been not been bloody. Nothing like that. It's uh, bites. But he'll heal. As you can see, that's what he's doing to himself right now. Licking it to what they call licking your wounds. Okay, anyways. Uh he uh wouldn't let go. So I came in in the live as a lot of you all saw, or some of you. And uh, I went back out there, I got a stick. No, I don't abuse my animals. But I had to get them apart before they killed each other. So, I went out there, got me a stick. And this time, Cobar seen me. And Cobar knows when I do say something, he knows to let go and go on and do whatever. When I got that stick, he seen me. Cobar let go, immediately fled. <laughs> But this dog don't give up, and he's bigger, and he's made to protect. Well, Colbert, you all right, ain't you, buddy? A little bruised, a little banged up, but you're okay. But Colbert is a dog that's deeply protective, and he's a dog that does not give up. It don't matter if he's on his last breath. He does not give up. He fights until he can't fight no more. So, they're okay. Cobar's out doing his normal thing. He got the best of Frost this time. Frost usually gets the best of him. But, uh, yeah. Old man versus pup. Actually, he's almost three years old this year. So, but he's okay, guys. That was a dramatic thing for me. You can go back and watch the last five minutes of the live, and you'll see where we're hectic trying to get them apart. Dar went out there to get them in, and get Frost in. You know, if you don't go outside, and you can go. You can let Frost and him around each other, and they don't bother each other. But you put one of us in the mix. And that's where they're extremely, extremely, uh, I fed baby a can of roast beef. It didn't look too appetizing. <laughs> but, uh, and she's really enjoying it. Give her something different. Um, but guys, we don't, you know, we, uh, usually don't have that problem. But these dogs are really protective. He's protective of us. They're jealous of each other also, because he loves us, Cobar loves us to death, and then you get them together, they don't like, he, he don't like that Cobar's getting around me, Cobar don't like that he's getting around me, and uh, there you go. The reason we keep him in the house, keep Cobar out, which Cobar stays out 95% of the time, so, even if he was in the house. But yeah, that's kind of an adventure we had last night. Let's just say that uh, it was hard. Uh, it was hard for me to get them apart, or try to even get them apart, and I did get them apart. But I think I caused more damage than I did good. So uh, next time I gotta have help. Well, I'm going to get off here for now. We'll see you in a little bit later. Alright, so last night I done a bunch of research, guys, on what it's going to take to get me a propane set up here at the house. Not bad. Um, propane's 270 gallon. They sell it by the gallon. A uh, 100 pound tank, which equals like a 23.9 gallon or something like that. So roughly a 23, 24-gallon uh, tank of propane. Now the tanks are 170 bucks. I'm going to get two of them. So it'll be 340 And to fill both tanks is going to cost around 130 bucks, 127 130 
but with the stove from the research I have done, according to what you cook and how often you cook, stuff like that, uh, 35 gallon is what you typically a propane stove will use within a year. So, with all that being said, we get everything hooked up and stuff. This stove will not cost us a lot of money every year to use propane. Um, I got to do a conversion kit to it. They're 20 bucks on online through Amazon or wherever. So it ain't going to cost much to convert this from a natural gas to a, an LP. Uh, so that'll be great. And that'll be awesome. Uh, we uh, mentioned that we got this from her sister. Um, it's not been used in a while. Well, we got free pan too, Dor. <laughs> yeah. I looked in here and didn't know what the pan was in there. So it needs washed, but it's there. Uh, it, it needs cleaned out. Uh, but it has been used, but it's practically brand new. It's, it's not. About a year old. It's about a year old. It had a year of usage out of it, and G. It's a GE brand, so GE brands are really, really well built and real. You know. The only reason why she got rid of it was because they got a new home and it came. Yeah, right. They got a new home. It yeah, came with electric. It was all electric and all that stuff, and so they went fast instead of dragging this one out. So they just left it in their old house. So. It's practically a brand new stove. It's stainless steel. What we're wanting to go through to match everything. So, time we get a refrigerator, dishwasher, and all that good stuff, it'll all be stainless steel. And I like stainless steel anyway because I think it's built better, mm -hmm. whether it is or not. But so you got a sturdy, uh, you know, screws goes into into metal, not plastic, and it, all this is metal and all that good stuff. Plus. We got these cast iron grates and that's something I like cooking on. We like using our cast iron skillets and we think it'd be better on a, on this thing. Even though we have used them on um, glass tops and they ain't had no issues out of them. Um, we want to uh, do um, gas. We think it'd be better to cook on. I think it is. I love cooking on gas. I grew my mamma cooked on propane and was absolutely awesome. But yeah, if you want to clean it, it's got a self-cleaning option. You lock that up, and uh, you lock that up, and it's got this self-cleaning thing up there, so none of that'll be a big issue. Which it's not really dirty; it don't need self-clean. We'll just wipe it off with some oven cleaner and stuff, and get it good and shiny. It does need a little cleaning, but uh, that's the project we're going to start on. We're going to get some stuff where we can cook in this house. Uh, only thing it uses is a 110 so I can plug it up and we can start using this thing as soon as we get some gas to it so that's what we're going to work on and try to get hopefully we, it'll probably be hold off on everything until we get our taxes that way I can buy the tanks and fill them up but yeah we're going to do that so we can cook maybe start putting some cooking videos out for y'all so yeah mama um that's what we, uh, I think, uh, I'll have to go back and look at that, but that's what we decided on, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. And I think it makes more sense. We don't have to buy a new appliance, which is going to run about eight or nine hundred to a thousand dollars. Uh, that one right there valued at a thousand. And if we bought an electric one, like we was wanting, it was going to run about a thousand or more. I think it was like twelve hundred, really. Hey, and I don't know. Well, and um, it ain't gonna cost much to hook it up. Mm, about four, I figure about five hundred. Twenty bucks, you said. Twenty bucks to convert it, mm -hmm. uh, and five hundred dollars to get everything running. So, if we'd have bought a new one, we'd have had a thousand dollars in our stove. So we got a free stove. Mm -hmm. So there we go. I think it'll be good on it. It'll be fun. So yeah, we'll get that running and we got us to cook stuff. So, um, I know last night we was talking about that on live. We was wanting to tell them, but we didn't. That's we, the secret. That's the secret. So everybody gets to see it on this video. Uh, but yeah, I guess I just want to talk about that and we're going to try to move along. So we, I'm going to order with their paycheck. I'm going to order our, uh, LP conversion kit 
for it, start working on it. And then hopefully, time we get all that ordered and again fixed, we'll have our taxes back. We'll go buy our tanks, get them filled, and I'll have it hooked up. And we'll start, start cooking. cooking. Yeah, so it'll be good. That should be perfect timing. We also have another little surprise coming this week. We do. We do. Um, we can tell you, I think a lot of you know what it is because we said it on. We told them on the live last oh. night, so at least 20 of them knows, or 150 people has watched it, so. Um, oh, yeah. Mm. So, we ordered a couch. We rented it off of Aaron's. That's the only feasible way we have to do it right now. But, I think it's okay. They did, we did Panther. buy a good Come brand. Where's he at? He's wandering over here. He's wandering. He's wandering at the water bow. Yes, but you know we got the the couch. We won't show. It. We won't. We got. We have it ordered. It will be here Thursday, the first of February. But we're already down for delivery. We're already down for delivery. But I ain't gonna show you what it looks like until we get. It. So that'll be on another video coming up this week. So stay tuned for that. Well, trying to get to where we can be a little comfortable yeah. in an uncomfortable no, situation. Comfortable and sit on the same couch together. Yeah, because this couch, it's it was my mother's. I bought it for my mother before she died to have something to sit in, but it's broke. In more ways, the wood in the back's broke. It's shearing off bolts. The mechanics in it's messed up. Yeah, I'm sure you can fix it and stuff, but it would probably cost, well, maybe you'd have to take the interior off of it to fix it, so I ain't worried about it. I, I know my mom would say get rid of that junk. No, it was a really nice couch for a long time, though, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It did. It had We've good had support. Had well, almost three years, mm -hmm. so it's time to say goodbye. Actually, May of uh, this year would then be three years. Out how we're going to move everything around, so that'll be a surprise. Yeah, that'll be all in the video too, because we're going to do all that in the video when we get our couch. And uh, I was going to put what we was going to do with that on this one, but I may do that later on in the week and put out a second video with the stove and show you and all what we're trying to do with the stove, and we'll do different. We'll do different. Um, Panther ideals we'll let you all comment on it see what you think's the best ideal for the for the um i don't know where he's went to i think he went back that way but we'll see you yeah, see we can't get up on this chair we have to help each other oh mm, that's that's a pain but uh we're gonna see which way we're gonna do it um there he is hey buddy come on <laughs> your belly's full we got to go but so we got it sitting here for right now, but we're thinking about putting it over there. Well, that was perfect timing. We let old Frost back out today, and we have to let him go use the bathroom, even though. Even though Colbert and him don't like each other. Yeah. So what we're thinking about doing? I don't want to put my refrigerator here. Let him. Focus. Good boy. Why ain't it focusing? I don't know. I think I need to turn off the light. Maybe that's the problem. No. Yes. No. Come on, focus. Sorry, guys, it's blurry. There it goes. It just delayed it. So, was thinking about putting the uh, stove right there. But, um, Mama wants it moved over to the wall because of the propane tank. It's got to be beside the sink. What's... And the sink's got to be beside the dishwasher. Well, this was my kind of plan we don't, know. we don't know for sure but this is my kind of plan this is the way i want to do it i'm wanting to put the stove right here okay then you come to the corner come around the corner put my refrigerator right there about where the plug in that should fit there i'll have to measure for sure it's only 30 inches wide then you have your sink right here under the window then <laughs> then 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 have a dishwasher right here Right by the sink. It'll be right by the sink. Sink will be here. Dishwasher be approximately in this area right here. So it can kind of give you an ideal. And uh, 
I think that would work out better. We'd have our stove and our refrigerator next to each other. That way we're, you know, if we want to throw something off the refrigerator onto the stove, we can, and then it'd be out there. It won't be so cluttered and extended out if we do it that way. We can end the water, the cabinetry right here. We can put our water uh, fountain right next to the end of the cabinetry right there. Or I could even tell, you know, Dark, she could put her little eight extra cabinet here. So basically three cabinets would be one, the sink, and then maybe a corner uh, cabinet, like a Lazy Susie type deal. Uh, in between that so we well, got to get it kindly worked out to see how it would work uh, the refrigerator will be the same width and depth as the stove so it, it, it kind of wants well to see how that would work out and stuff and then and see if I put the this cooking stove beside the heating stove in the winter time when we do have heat on it won't affect anything so but if I'm afraid if we put the refrigerator next to the stove you know, it'll be bad. It won't. It may not I work. I just wanted to make sure it's been it or something. I don't know. Plus, you uh, you want to, which if I put the stove right there, we ain't gonna be able to vent it. I know. And that's what you're worried about too is venting it, venting so the propane. You know, a hood vent that way. While we're cooking, any excess gas or anything like that will go out and not in the house. And I understand that. Uh, we could put some kind of exhaust on the. You know on the wall just to pull it that way but we'll, we'll see we'll cross that see what we can do uh so i don't know what you think guys so we put a refrigerator here should we put our stove over here and our dishwasher and everything here and then from here down be our kitchen um we'll see you just give us some ideals we'll look at everything and we'll go from there um but I think the way I've got it, I've also looked at putting the stove here and the refrigerator here on this end, but it will extend it all the way out here because we got to have a dishwasher somewhere through here. Oh, yes, you do. So, she's got to have her dishwasher. So, yeah. I'm going to quit rambling. We've got 13 minutes into this, even though we're kind of showing you what we got and what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and end it there because I think we'll get too bored on it. Stay tuned. Next time you see us, we'll try to figure out this on over there see where we're going to actually put it we'll take some of your comments into consideration on where to put it and go from there so stay tuned for the next couple of videos a lot of neat stuff coming this way and hopefully we can get stuff done and put out some more videos for you and so guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video also here so stay tuned we'll see you in the next video we love you, and as always, have a big birthday.